We're close to the high of the day. How about that? Up 188 points as we speak, 25,500. Ryan Payne is with us, Ray, uh, Payne Capital Management guy. You say that the trade war with China, or this dispute, I guess you could call it, doesn't hurt our economy that much? Is that what you're saying? I mean, let's put it in perspective, Stuart. If you look at the collective GDP of the U.S. and China, it's about $31 billion, or excuse me, trillion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the total tariffs right now, it's about $65 billion. That's about 1.9% of GDP. I mean, you're literally talking about a drop in the bucket. Right, what about supply of- chains, though? I mean, that, that totally disrupted. I mean, that's a big deal. Still a small percentage. I mean, if you look at actually what we export to China versus what they import to us, I mean, it's still a small number when you're looking at the total GDP. So I think you know, we're really focusing on the wrong thing here when you're looking at being an investor right now. Okay, so if it doesn't hurt our economy that much, if it's a small thing in the great scale of things, yes. you don't think that this sell-off is a big deal. Is, is coming to an end, is it? I think it's a gift from the gods, right? When we've had every time on the show, markets ramped up, gone higher and higher and higher. You know, the market's gone down about two thirds of the time or up two thirds of the time this year. So we've had very little sell off. So if you have cash on the sidelines, you're actually getting an opportunity to invest. Oh, so you're looking for things to buy? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Would you buy Uber? at $37 a share, where it is now. And I ask that question because the CEO's come out with an email to employees reassuring them and saying, you know, that last week's IPO, don't worry too much about it. But it's at 37. You buying? I'm not a, that bold a man, Stuart. Uh, at one, you know, $1 billion a loss per quarter. We don't really know what that market's going to look like the next couple of years with Lyft out there, taking a lot of their taking a lot of their passengers. I mean, I think it's a very, very risky bet. Uh, you think I'm crazy if I were to go out and buy Uber this afternoon and I pay $38 a share? Am I crazy? I admire your boldness, but yes, crazy. <laughs> no, not. No, not. It's a long-term investment. I want to get into that kind of new kind of company. What's wrong with that? The problem is you just don't know what it's going to look like five years, ten years from now. It's not going to go that. away. Do we know that? We don't even know that. I mean, with prices going up and pricing pressure, we, we don't know who the winner is going to be. It's kind of like when you had Sirius and XM radio, and we thought satellite radio was going to be the future, and eventually they had it combined because the market share wasn't that great. I think you have the same thing going on here. All right. Tune in tomorrow morning to see if I did or did not yes. buy Uber at $38 a share. Oh, no, you're right. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, you can watch it. You might even be on the show. Uh, Walmart <laughs> taking a shot at Amazon. They're launching free next-day delivery. Um, you buying that? I think it's a small, smart move. I mean, they already, you know, if you look at their online, uh, they've really ramped that up. They have that you can pick up in same day delivery and things like that. Like 60 percent of their orders now you can pick up in store. So I think it's just another good move they're making to be competitive with Amazon. Well played. But you don't buy stocks like Walmart retailers. You don't, you're not into that, are you? I mean, yeah, sure. An old school uh, retailer like Walmart is a great buy right now. I mean, if you look at the valuation on that versus an Amazon, it's a lot cheaper. Um, they still have a large part of the market share. So I think it's a definitely a good buy here. So you'd buy Walmart at 100, but you wouldn't touch Uber at 37, 38, new up and coming company. You wouldn't touch them. And I'm crazy if I do. It's the inconvenience of profitability. Walmart's a very profitable company. Yeah. Uber is not. Wait a minute. Amazon, on your screens right now, at $1,834 per share. For years, Amazon didn't make a profit. Seven years before one profitable quarter. Uh, Thank you, Susan. Okay? I mean, and your point is, <laughs> how lucky are you? That's how. That's that's the real question. How many companies went out of business during the dot com or that didn't make it? So if you have that kind of foresight, then Stuart, yes, yeah. And Amazon's- I want to hang out with you all the time. I think you're in a corner here, Ryan. I really do. Uh, are you going to criticize my purchase of Microsoft 20 years ago? No, I wouldn't do that. Uh, that was well done. I think oh, you yes. there you go. Okay, you, go. you may be on the show tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Ryan Payne, everybody, not buying Uber. See you later. Thanks very much. <laughs>